Hey, I'm Scott Moody, and today we're doing meatloaf on the PK Go. Do you love that? That was good. Was that? We're gonna keep that. That's gonna be the thumbnail. We've got our PK Go here, which is our camp and tailgate grill. It's perfect for camping and tailgating. It's got these little latches on the side so you can lock the lid on. But I'm gonna cook a meatloaf on here today. I think that's the perfect food for a crisp fall day, a camp out. You can mix it all in one bowl. It's super easy. You can cut it up and make sandwiches out of it. You can do a lot of stuff with it. So it's really versatile and it's really easy. And we're gonna cook one on this grill. Okay, so we're gonna prep this meatloaf. It calls for a pound of uh, ground beef chuck and then a pound of ground pork. Interestingly, uh, when I went to the grocery store today, they had a pound of ground cheddar bratwurst and I grabbed it. Uh, so I'm gonna make this uh, meatloaf with um, ground bratwurst. One medium white onion, three garlic cloves that we minced, one tablespoon plus two teaspoons of Pork Perfect, which is Fire and Smoke Society pork seasoning. A tablespoon of Worcestershire. Whoa, okay. Two large eggs, three fourths cup of breadcrumbs, and a half cup of finely grated Parmesan. So I've got all that stuff in the bowl and I'm just gonna work it together. We wanna just try to mix this in without overworking the meat. We're gonna be smoking this on the PK Go this week. So I've got kind of a small pan and I am just going to press this into this pan, which I have oiled with a little bit of olive oil. Okay, there she is. Let's head outside to the grill. Come have a look at what's going on here. There's some interesting things in this grill that are unique. First one is this little thermo port. We had somebody online this week ask about or suggest that we add a port to our grills for thermometers. Well, on this grill, we have one, so it just kind of rotates to open and close. I've got a drip pan uh, down in the bottom of this grill. This is probably interesting to see because this grill is actually deeper than you think it might be. We've got plenty of room for, uh, for a drip pan in here. Got a piece of oak in here I'm gonna use to add some nice smoke to that smoked meatloaf. Let's go ahead and start these coals up. I'm gonna be cooking uh, this meatloaf for about an hour at a medium to medium high temperature. The thing about grill size is obviously um, you wanna make sure that you measure out your fuel to match the size of grill that you're cooking in. So in a smaller grill, a full chimney of charcoal would make it really hot and you might not be able to get it, you know, dial in the temperature that you want. So what I like to do is start with less fuel, try to dial the temp in. If I need to add fuel, I can. Taking fuel out's a lot harder. Um, and open this vent slightly, close this vent, and then I'm gonna open this one but not all the way so we're drawing oxygen in under the fuel and we're going to exhaust it over the food okay so the temp gauge is reading 325 right now which is right about where we want it if you've watched many of these videos you've heard me say before when we put the meat in the temperature in the grill is going to come down so uh, i always try to get the grill good and hot uh, hotter than i want it before i put the meat on so uh, let's go ahead and drop this meatloaf in here We're gonna put some bacon on there. Oh man, I am really excited for this. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and stick my probe in there. Close the lid. We've got our meatloaf on. I've got this vent closed. This one's not all the way open. It's about 75% open. And um, I've got this, uh, this vent all the way open. It is 12.15. Okay, so uh, we put this meatloaf on about 
um, 55 minutes ago, so almost an hour ago. It's two pounds of, of meat, just to try to give you a, a judge of how long this takes. So it's gonna cook in about an hour. We're, we're at 147 degrees internal temperature on the meatloaf, and we're trying to get to 165. So I've got one final step that I wanna do before we finish it off. I like my bacon crispy, so I'm gonna put this over direct heat. I am going to glaze the meatloaf with uh, some Tupelo two-step, which is our um, hot honey barbecue sauce. So we're just gonna glaze the top of this. Full disclosure, I rotated this meatloaf one time while it was cooking about halfway through the cook. About an hour into this cook, I'm just checking the internal temperature and um, this, it's still right around 300 degrees, just as kind of a data check. Okay, so it looks like the um, internal temperature of the meatloaf just hit 165. And yes, there she is. Let's pull it off. So we got our meatloaf here and I've decided I'm gonna make some sandwiches. I got some, uh, I got some great butter leaf lettuce. I got some tomatoes. I got some mayo. That's yours. All right. Don't forget to leave us some uh, feedback in the comments about what you want us to cook next. If you like this recipe, tell us what you want to cook next and we will cook it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.